Hello all, happy Thursday and happy February. Today is February 2nd, 2023. Welcome to this Groundhog's Day episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Eli. And hello, I'm Kieran. We're so happy to have this great opportunity to join you guys on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. I hope everyone is loving our new Valentine's Day and Abe's background. Okay, everyone, remember to check your emails throughout the day. Students need to check email multiple times for early dismissals, drop-off items, requests from the office, important messages from teachers, etc. Also, remember, treat each other with kindness. Okay, mark your calendars. Teacher conferences are coming up, as well as third quarter interim reports. Make sure that you're doing all of your homework and studying for your tests. Awesome! Thanks for the helpful info. Next up... Did you know? Saturn would float on water. It's the only planet in our solar system that would because it's less dense than water. Wow, I didn't know that. Make sure you don't try it. That sounds kind of dangerous. Next up, National Day. Today is National Tater Tot Day. I love tater tots. And happy Groundhog Day as well. By the way, if you were wondering, the world's most famous groundhog, groundhog Punxsutawney Phil made his Groundhog Day 2023 call this morning. He saw his shadow and says six more weeks of winter. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for it to be warm. Unless we get a snow day. Today, we are getting ready to start a Black History Month segment. Each day, we're going to focus on different historical black figures. Today, we're going to be featuring Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou was an American author, actress, screenwriter, dancer, and civil rights activist. Maya is known for her memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, that she wrote in 1969. Maya Angelou fought for what she believed in, wrote books that changed people's lives, and by doing so, helped change the world that we live in today. Thank you so much, Maya Angelou, for everything you have done. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Raiden T. and Jada M. Yes, happy birthday. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Now over to Mr. Stern and Mr. Harris with more announcements for, for, and our, for our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to talk about a couple of issues. Um, I do want to talk about one issue that has come to our attention, and that is an issue that takes place at recess, which is rock throwing. Uh, we understand that because of construction that there are rocks. That's not typically a part of uh, our recess environment, but it has become part of our environment this year. As when we talk about throwing rocks and the potential of hitting someone with a rock, we consider that a Category 3 offense. Now, if you don't know what a Category 3 offense is, we do have a school handbook that lists all of our offenses. So that offense would include uh, the possibility of causing injury. It actually falls under the same headline as being involved in, in a fight because you are potentially causing serious injury. You're not using your fist, but you are using some sort of weapon, which is a rock. So anytime you pick up a rock and you throw a rock, we will always take it as there an intent there to harm someone. And if that is the situation, that is a suspendable activity. So please, when you're out at recess, do not pick up rocks. Therefore, you will not be throwing rocks. If you do get caught throwing rocks, we will always consider that the intent is to injure someone, and we will treat that very seriously as a suspendable offense. So, hey, leave those rocks on the ground. Enjoy the opportunity to spend time with your friends. And talking about uh, spending time with your friends, is it ever too early to talk about 8th grade day? Always ready. Always ready, Mr. Starr. So 8th grade day is a big, big deal around here. It is the last week of May for you 8th grade. It is a really fun opportunity to spend time with your friends. We'll be cooking meals. I know Mr. Reese will be on the grill. I believe you'll be running some basketball tournaments. Basket, big basketball, three-on-three -three basketball tournament for both boys and girls can play. Awesome, and that will take place at the rec center where you'll be able to swim. I know that there will be um, soccer games that break out with uh, Mr. Tanaka. People always bring their lacrosse sticks. It is just a big, fun celebration for you eighth graders. But, hey, it's time to start thinking about grades moving forward, your behaviors moving forward, because those are all things that tie in with your opportunity to attend this big fun day. So, 
Hey, I, we know it's only February, but we all we, we start to get excited. I know Mr. Cole has a meeting today regarding uh, eighth grade day uh, with the uh, people at the rec center, so it's it's on our radar. Right, so and you don't want to miss out on this event because your grades aren't up to par and all that other stuff. It would be a shame for that to happen. So make sure your behavior, your grades, everything is right on T so you can be at eighth grade day. It's a great event to end the school year. It really is. So. All right, all I'm right. going to go. All right, thanks, so, Mr. Stern. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do announcements. All right, just a reminder, eighth grade boys interested in playing soccer at the high school next year. You're going to have a meeting next Wednesday with the varsity coach, Coach Whistle, on February 8th. Please email Mr. Tanaka so that you can share a Google link for you to sign up online. At the meeting, they'll talk about all their summer workouts, tryouts, all of that other stuff. So make sure you attend that meeting. Make sure you send that email to Mr. Tanaka so you can send you that link. International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow, Friday, February 3rd, in room 214. Focus country is Japan. Members, if you do not get any email messages from Mrs. Wolford this morning, please rejoin the Google Classroom. The code is ENXDMII, that's right there, or simply email Mrs. Wolford. Some of your names may have been deleted by mistake. Sorry, and thank you very much. I did not delete your names by mistake. That was somebody else. Probably Mr. Tanaka, because he does stuff like that. All boys interested in playing tennis this spring, please come to the cafeteria tomorrow, that's Friday, during Flex for a brief informational meeting. If you cannot make it, please stop by Coach Andriola's room, that's room 116, as soon as possible to get information that will be handed out. Tryouts will begin March 6th. If you have questions, see or email Miss Andriola. And remember, students, check those emails. Check those emails. Check those emails. That's it for me. Later! All right, it gives me great pleasure to present this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week, come on and sit down, is Emma perez Braceno. All right, and Emma's a seventh grade, uh, seventh grade cheer, right? She's athlete of the Week. All right, she here's what her coach had to say about her. She's an extraordinary member of our team. She always comes in ready to learn, and her attitude or positivity radiates to the team. She challenges herself as well as her teammates to be the best that she can be. She has a beautiful smile. That always makes people nervous when you say they have a beautiful smile. She's constantly giving 100% not only games, but it's practice as well. She is definitely our Athlete of the Week, and we look forward to seeing what the future has in store for her. So there is your write-up, and there's your certificate. All right. And then from our wrestling team, Jamel, come on over. Okay. Abdel Jabber, Jamel Abdel Jabber, okay, is from the wrestling team. All right. And... He is a fantastic person who contributes to the team on and off of the mat. Um, I can attest to a lot of these things. He's a great personality. He lifts people up when they need it and is always motivating his teammates. He finished second place in the GMC, finishing out the season with 23 wins and 12 losses, and he had 15 pins along with that. Uh, the coaches will miss Jamel next year, but look forward to watching him at the high school. So this is very well deserved. So there's your write-up, and there's your certificate. So congratulations to this week's Athletes of the Week. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Harris, and congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Now it's time for the joke of the day. The people around me say I need to follow my dreams. Did you achieve your dream? No, I went back to sleep. <laughs> Stay classy, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful Thursday, and... Go Waves! And stay classy and cincy.